But then again, it goes to self and personal mm. development. And it goes back to what you were saying about if you do not have the funds, make a way. Yeah, make a way. You start businesses, whatever mm. the case may be. Mm. You know, we all have our own little hustles, I like to call it, on the side that can help you get that thousand rand. Mm. And it's, you know, only a thousand rand. Really, it's, it, it, it all boils down to what is your strategy? Mm. And then how, the property that you found and how much do you actually need? Because you might find that the bank is willing to finance 100%. You just need transfer and bond registration costs. Right. Which on a 200,000 rand property might not even be that much. Mm. Mm. So if there's four of you guys, maybe it's 20,000 rand or it's 15,000 rand. Right. So it's not, it's, it's not prohibitive. Mm. And I mentioned earlier that you must have, when you're an investor, you must have a different lens around which property you would live in and which one would work as an investment. Because right. you may find that as a start, a little bachelor in the CBD, can be your start. Exactly. You learn the ropes mm. and then you move on to the next one and then you move on to bigger deals. Mm. And I think with Property Stockfall, because it would be three, four, five, a group of you, mm. if you as a group can come to an agreement on why we're doing this, you know, mm. it's great if you we join a Property Stockfall and we all have the same why. Exactly. And then we figure out how to and go the same forward. level of commitment. Right, same level of commitment, very important. <laughs> um, I want to talk about leadership and women em empowering uh, you yourself, you empowering the woman in the property sector. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to talk about how are you using your current skills to empower more women. I know you said you started a Facebook group. Mm -hmm. um, but so how else are you empowering women to join you on your mission to invest in property? Okay, so I do have that um, Facebook group that, that I've mentioned, which is specifically for women in property. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm also a property coach and mentor. So I do help other women who want to invest in property, not just women, but primarily right. women. Um, so that's one of the ways that I do that. And like I've also mentioned, traditionally stock files are mostly for women. Mm. Well, I use the women, our yes. mothers, our grannies. So, so, it's a, so I also have a property stock file and most of our members, I would say, 60 to 70 percent are actually women okay. so now i'm having women who are coming in and getting introduced into property through the stockfall model and i'm fine what i'm finding now is some of them come in through the stockfall and then they understand how property works because we share so much knowledge around right. this is the property we're buying this is why we're <coughs> buying it these are the numbers this is how we're going to add value to it etc etc mm -hmm. so they get it and so now they're saying wow i want to do this too mm -hmm. you know so this is a way that they're coming in at a lower price point and they're getting access to a knowledge and basically of how to actually become a property investor right. and so they then um, mm. actually becoming interested in becoming investors themselves becoming the producers exactly not the consumer exactly might just name the show that <laughs> be the producer not the consumer i like that <laughs> so celine Dile is still on the topic of woman and woman empowerment most thank you for watching subscribe click the like button thank you